Question 14, uh, z squared plus 10z minus 24 equals zero. What is one of the solutions to the given equation? Okay, we can solve this by factoring. Equals zero. We need a z here and a z here. Now, how do you make 24 or negative 24? Let's write down the factors of 24 or the ways to make 24. We know one times 24, you can use a two, you can use a three, and you can use a four. Two times 12, three times eight, and four times six. Your next line will be six times four, which is repeating yourself. So these are the options. Now, um, we have to make one of them positive and one of them negative to get negative 24. So also we have to make 10z. Now you might think four and six can make 10. Well, the problem with four and six is we can make 10 if I'm allowed to use both positive, but I can't use both positive because I will never get negative 24. In fact, I have to make one positive and one negative. So that rules out four and six. Three and eight will, three and eight will never make a 10. One and 24 will never make a 10. So two and 12 will make our 10. And how do we do that? We need a, we need a positive 12 and negative two. And if you foil this out, you'll get 10z in the middle. Okay, uh, just, to, just to demonstrate, z times z, z squared minus 2z plus 12z minus 24. z squared is there. This middle part will combine to make a plus 10z and then negative 24 is there and we have exactly what we started with. So the factoring is done correctly. That's one way to prove to yourself or convince yourself or check that the factoring was done correctly. So from here, we use the zero product property. We say Z plus 12 could be zero or Z minus two could be zero. And if you solve this, you get, you subtract 12, subtract 12, and you get Z equals negative 12. Here you add two, add two and you get z equals two. So our, our, our answers are two or negative 12. It says, what is one of the solutions? So you can pick either one, it doesn't matter. Um, just pick either one and they're, they're correct.